Yellowstone Vault Eruption Very active. Steamboat Geyser Spews Boiling Water Steamboat Geyser, one of the most active hot springs on the Yellowstone Volcano, surprised scientists by spewing a searing jet of hot water for the fifth time this year. Volcanologists tracking the Yellowstone supervolcano's caldera say the geyser's action comes after a highly irregular pattern of eruptions in recent months. Steamboat Geyser roared back to life in early April, with its first three eruptions in 15 years, sparking interest from the scientific community. The Yellowstone Geyser has now erupted twice more, on May 4th and May 15th. Michael Poland, head of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory at the United States Geological Survey USGS, said, This is a spectacular geyser. When it erupts, it's usually a big one. Geysers are typically labeled anomalies when their eruptions appear to follow a semi-rigid pattern. Yellowstone's most famous geyser, Old Faithful, is one such anomaly, erupting every 35 to 120 minutes. Geysers like Old Faithful and Steamboat erupt whenever water and steam become trapped in a narrow space deep beneath the geyser's blowhole. The mixture of water and steam builds pressure until it reaches the surface, where a towering stream of hot water shoots hundreds of feet into the sky. When Steamboat erupted twice on April 19th and April 27th, it ejected 200 to 400 cubic meters of water, 10 times more than Old Faithful. At its most intense, Steamboat's eruptions were known to be three times as large as Old Faithful's. Yellowstone National Park's chief geologist, each geyser in Yellowstone has its own unique underground plumbing system, making it difficult to understand how they behave. Yellowstone experts say, each geyser has its own characteristics, and that has to do with the plumbing and how the heat flows through the system to the surface. However, anomalies of consistency, such as those seen at Old Faithful, are rare in the park, which is home to half the world's active geysers. Jamie Farrell, a professor at the University of Utah, stresses that most volcanoes do not erupt regularly. Volcanologists say the cause of Steamboat's latest series of eruptions is likely hidden deep underground. He explains that the geyser is connected to a nearby hot spring, providing Steamboat with plenty of water to erupt. Dr. Farrell says Steamboat is constantly fighting for heat and water. Old Yellowstone records show that Steamboat Geyser has experienced periods of intense activity, followed by periods of relative peace and quiet since the early 20th century. Dr. Poland is confident that nothing is known about it, mysterious, about Steamboat's eruption. He said, most geysers don't erupt very often, unlike Old Faithful, so Steamboat isn't mysterious in that regard. But Steamboat has its mystique because it's the world's tallest active geyser. It gets a lot of attention, and rightfully so. The Steamboat geyser, which shoots water up to 300 feet in the air, can go decades between blasts. Its last took place in teen, and while its recent spate of activity, three eruptions in six weeks, is curious, experts stress they don't mean a volcanic eruption is brewing beneath Yellowstone's Wyoming soil. There is nothing to indicate that any sort of volcanic eruption is imminent, Michael Poland, the scientist overseeing the U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. The eruptions took place March 15th, April 19th, and April 27th, 
with both April eruptions dwarfing those of the park's famed Old Faithful Geyser by about 10 times. That said, recordings indicate that the water blasted during the April eruptions, about 200 to 400 cubic meters of water, was less than half that of previous steamboat blasts in 2014. That has led scientists to theorize that Steamboat is entering a period of more frequent but relatively small eruptions, like those that occurred in the early 1980s, the observatory noted in an article Monday. It could also simply amount to the randomness of geysers, they said. Still, Observatory scientists will watch Steamboat closely over the next several months using a mix of satellite images, on-site temperature gauges, and seismometers to gauge any possibility of a thermal disturbance, which the article notes is impossible to determine as of now.